Yo, today is a very important day in New York history, man. Today is 9-11, and I couldn't call myself a real New Yorker if I didn't have at least a moment of silence or a video where I talked about what happened and how it felt being a New Yorker at that time in the city. So I wanna first do a moment of silence for the people that lost their lives in the Twin Tower attack, so. Word. Salute, man, salute. Hey, it's like, there's so many things that come with being a New Yorker, like being from here, that people don't get to talk about. Like, once you're new here, yeah, you experience New York, but you don't experience like the hallmark events that happened and one the, and the event that happened was uh the 9-11 attack bro so on the 9-11 attack it's a regular day bro like in the middle of the, the week and i and so at this time i'm probably i would say eight or nine years old no i have to be eight because that's the beginning of the school year very beginning of the school year and so that's second grade and we all chilling in class and doing what we're doing. You know, just schoolwork, regular schoolwork. When the teacher, a teacher from another class comes out and is kind of like speaking in whispers to um, to another, to my teacher. So when they, when they finally, I mean, they're like, they're like whispering, but they're not actually whispering and a student from my class overhears and she breaks out in tears like full tears runs over to the teacher and like breaks down and like tells her what something happened and we're at this point everybody in the class is confused we want to know what's the what like first of all how she heard them second of all what exactly happened because it, just a second ago we was all laughing playing it was a regular day in school so everybody starts asking and the teacher comes in and she's like hey guys so we have an emergency um we have an emergency and they're kind of like hush hush about it but they're saying yo so her and they're like, everyone's asking, but we're just saying like on the low, like, yo, her, her, her dad was in the building that got hit. And we're like, building that got hit? What does that even mean? What are you talking about? And so the day is just going on. And little by little, people's parents are picking them up from school. And it's not, it's not even, it's still the morning time very very confusing like why are people picking to the point where i'm like the last four people in school now and we're i'm like trying to understand why everyone's getting picked up so i get picked up and i'm like by my pops and i'm like yo why i'm the first one out of my siblings to get picked up i'm like yo why are we getting picked up like what's what's the matter and he's like an important building in manhattan just got hit and now everybody's like leaving school. It's like a terrorist threat. Like everyone's scared, everyone's frazzled. And so we just run. So we go around the, go around picking up every, every one of my siblings, like two or three that's in school at the time. And you can see like smoke from afar, just like, like more smoke than you ever seen in your life. And it was like, that is crazy so when we get home now it's really a regular day still but on the new every channel on the on the radio is talking about oh this shit happened that happened um stay in your house for now because we don't know exactly how we're gonna deal with it apparently the the we're being hit we're being bought attacked by like terrorists and it's on repeat on the radio so we finally get home and and now it's playing on the news over and over. And you see the graphic craziness that's happening on the television. Like things kids should not be seeing, 
but it's real it's just as real as it gets and bro when i tell you like you seeing people jump out buildings bro like tiny people and keep it tall i ain't even know this building for real before i'm a kid i don't care about no damn world trade center all i'm happy i got out of school early for real but the implication of that was way deeper and it went on for years where like we beefing with iraq now we in the iraq war looking for nuclear and even now i'm saying it don't really add up it really doesn't um but uh it doesn't really add up but we were happy to have like a day off for real but the videos were kind of really graphic like you just see the plane get, get thrown into the to the uh to the building and blow up and havoc like and you're just wondering like what would you do if that happened to you and you can't even imagine what it's like to run down the stairs and it's really just happy to see people survive that but it's also some people really didn't so we found out what happened to the girl's father he was in the building and he the only thing that happened was that he broke his leg he broke like his leg which is not even small thing but he said he saw all type of things that he was not sure would not have wanted to see but yeah he only broke a leg he was good he survived after that but a lot of people even just in the area were not were not well i've heard stories of people's parents who just left the building people's aunts who were supposed to be there for the day but they called out um people who were in the area and there was no way to get out really but they crossed the, they had to walk over the bridge because there was no other way to get out so these are things that we for real like had to come face to face with because we were from we were in new york at the time and that led to a crazy amount of like speculation from the moment it happened down to in, into the that for the moment it happened down to now it's still under speculation but regardless of any speculation my heart goes out to people who lost their lives people who lost family members during that because it's unprecedented you know what i'm saying it it's still one of those things that you think about like wow that really happened like regardless of what happened it really happened the building went down and you know rp and we'll never forget those people or the moment that happened so i just wanted to say that i couldn't do be it couldn't call myself a youtuber if i didn't put a shout out to the folks uh during 9 11 so peace and love your sport gts share subscribe like yeah and uh love you peace